How's it going, fellow moviegoers? We're back today with another movie review. This is another movie that just kind of came out of nowhere, like this video in a way. Hmm. But so the movie we're talking about today is Long Legs, and it's the new horror movie with Nicolas Cage, which it was actually produced by him as well, I'm pretty sure. So it was his horror movie, basically. And I want to start this off by saying, if you are someone who goes to the movie theater and you do not turn off your phone or electronic device or your Apple Watch or your iSmart Pad or your whatever, fuck you. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> I hate people like you because we go to the movies to have pitch black silence because and the ambience and the noise, always. and then you're there with your bright freaking phone, ruin it for everyone. When the lights I just want you to know that random guy in my theater. I'm watching you. But so Long Legs was a really enjoyable movie. We're gonna kind of keep it short here. Um, just kind of do a little recap review. I did not know much or anything about this movie. I just kind of went into it. Um, wasn't sure if it was gonna be supernatural in any way or form or shape. I would say at least help me in some of the mystery and figuring it out because I didn't know what was going on. But yeah, overall, I'd say this was a really good movie. It Neon's a studio I haven't heard of too many times. I know the name, but I couldn't tell you any movies they make. But it's, a, it's another studio like A24 where just the cinematography and the way they film the movie is so captivating and um, engrossing that it really kind of pulls you into the film no matter what you're watching. So I'd say overall, my enjoyment for this movie was very high. Um, it was a fun journey all the way through. It was a good kind of theater movie to experience because there was lots of different formats for the big screen and good stuff auditorially and creepy moments. And so it was, it was really good for a theater experience. For me, at least, the first two acts of the movie were very strong and I was so excited to see what was gonna happen in the third act, and then I it died out a tad for me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, of course, I'm not gonna say what happens because we'll keep it spoiler free here, but it was just, I don't know. I didn't feel too jazzed about the ending for some reason. And I don't know if that's just me or if that's kind of how everyone felt. Um, just a main premise here, the movie is about Basically, Nicolas Cage playing a serial killer called Long Legs, and you're following the main character trying to solve the case of the killer Long Legs. So it's a fun movie. Nicolas Cage did a really good job being a, like, being a creepy serial killer. Like, if I came up on him and the way he was acting in that movie, I'd be a little concerned for my life, or like, I'd probably want to get away from this man, you know? I will say though that the ending wasn't bad enough to where I was like, man, this movie sucks. It was just, it, it was on a constant rise peak and then it just kind of plateaued a little bit where I thought it would just kind of keep going up all the way to the top. I will say if you're a fan of horror movies and murder mysteries, definitely check this one out. It's a fun, different movie because you're not sure what's going on or why things are going on. And it has that, it reminded me a lot of the show Mindhunter, if you've seen Mindhunter. Um, just that old timey serial killer hunt where you don't have any CCTV cameras to find the guy. Like it's actually just, hey, we have a note and some handwriting. Let's, let's try and piece this together. Yeah, so that being said, I guess we'll go ahead and throw this into the saucy opinion meter here. Um, I think, yeah, with, without any question, this is a spicy movie for sure. It's, I don't know, it's really enjoyable. The movie was very short, but it did a good job of feeling long without feeling drawn out. So I wasn't getting bored in the movie. Yeah, I don't know, it was just really good. This is a spicy film, spicy horror movie. I guess randomly I'll say, I like this genre this year we're going in, in this like direction of movies where it's all these like mind bending horror, satanic, like exorcist, like we're going very dark in our movies this year and I like it. I hope this trend doesn't kind of stop on these kind of like fucked up movies in a sense because 
some of these movies are kind of fucked up movies. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching uh, this episode of My Saucy Opinion. Kind of keeping it short this time around, but I feel like there's also not too much to talk about on this movie without spoiling it. Um, yeah, definitely recommend going out and seeing it. Try and get some of these other movies up for the upcoming weeks. We have, oh my goodness, we have so many. We have Deadpool and Wolverine. We have Trap from M. Night Shyamalan. We have Smile 2. We, there's a lot of movies coming out. Um, so I'll try and get those up and stay up to date on those. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.